Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee Break with Terabella Gonzalez. My name is, I don't even know my name anymore. My name is Laura Gonzalez. I welcome you to the Coffee Break. Hi, Miss Tisa Shop. How are you? Long time. Long, long time. Hi, Richard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody, to the Coffee Break. Today, June 14th. 2024 we have passed the halfway through the year can you believe that it is ridiculously ridiculous and that's all I'm going to say about that welcome Richard welcome Mestiza welcome everybody who's watching now or will be watching later we have wait a minute it says three people are here but I only see Richard and Mestiza. Ma, that's weird. So who else is watching? Hi. <laughs> so today we have the Animal Oracles by Stacy DeMarco. I should stop saying who. And the Queen of the Moon. And there is Alexa Rose. Alexa, you're the one that was not being registered. Are you incognito? Are you incognito? Uh, let's do an oracle first, shall we? It is June 14th, and I still don't have my calendar on the wall, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I know we're going to Mindful Baking Cafe tomorrow. So if you are on... I forgot. Ravenswood. I forgot the name of the neighborhood. If you're in Ravenswood tomorrow, come see us at Mindful Baking Cafe. They have the best lavender latte that I've ever tried in my life. Hello, Aliyah. Aliyah more photo. All y'all more photo. I don't know what's your name. But anyway, um, so Mindful Baking Cafe tomorrow from 12 to 5. I'll be doing the usual, the $20 reading, the $30 reading, and the $50 reading special at Mindful Baking Cafe. Ali. Ali? Ali. So, let's see what... Let's breathe. Letting go any emotions that don't serve us at this moment. Allowing the earth to transmute them. And allowing our eyes to set up. And what's next? May the divine give us a visual of what we need in our life. And what we need is the hyena. This is very interesting. Because I talk about transmuting and transformation and letting go of what done service. And we have the hyena and it's like a half, half alive, half death. Very, very much kind of like. Tying up with the solstice time. Solstice is coming. And I don't know the meaning of it. We're going to find out together. The meaning of the hyena. Let's see what it says. Fear. The hyena representing fear. Examine your fears. Especially the fear of difference. Of the unknown and of death. There might be an abandonment of something, a belief, a person, a place. Remember that because something is strange 
Remember that because something is strange, it doesn't mean that it cannot be beautiful or good. We all have a job to do. We all have our own genius. Be sure to have the correct information to have a truthful understanding. Examine your fears, especially the fear of difference, of the unknown and of death. There might be an abandonment of something, a belief, a person, a place. Remember that because something is strange, it doesn't mean that it cannot be beautiful or good. We all have a job to do. We all have our own genius. Be sure to have the correct information, to have a truthful understanding. So that is our first oracle card for today from the Divine Animals Oracle. How's everybody doing? How hot it is by you? It is really hot here in Chicago. They say we're going to go up to 90 over the weekend. There were a little, little storms coming up yesterday. I saw that crow today and last Friday at that hedgehog. Definitely strange. <coughs> interesting, interesting. I, I just received news. They are in bad news. You know, I proposed an article and it got rejected. And I immediately felt, uh, you know, like, ugh, that that rejection feeling. And um, it's like, okay, but, you know, the world is not going to end because I'm not going to be published on that particular book. But it is still that fear of what if, you know, what if you try again and you're rejected again? What if you're not successful? What if, you know, in this capitalist world, those little things translate to money and acquisition, power, and all of that? Redirection, not rejection. Thank you, Alexa. I love, I love that. And I was thinking, you know, I know so. I know it's a good article. I send it to a couple of people that they like it. And um, they help, help me with the... Um, <laughs> your mind reader synchronicities. Um, I showed the article to a couple of people and they told me it was very powerful and, and they liked it. So I immediately think, you know, I might put it on my Patreon and allow people to read stuff on the Patreon, which I will get going I promise you I just I haven't I have been very very busy hi Cindy Cindy swims I say what to say currently this time anyway let's see what the tarot has for us this weekend and I love what you say Alexa you know redirect the article will come out in a different way May this reading be for my viewers and not only for me. May we be able to share the meaning of these cards. And may the divine allow us to see what needs to be seen. I don't want to hijack the, the tarot reading. Wow, we have very nice cards. So first we have the Four of Cups. And it's, it's funny because the Four of Cups is a card of rejection. It's a card of saying, I'm, I'm okay. I don't need that in my life at this moment. Um, it is quite literally a person who has been offered something. Or in this case, there are foxes, I think. I think that one fox is offering the other fox some food or whatever. And the other fox is like, no, thank you. I don't want it. And I think it has to do, like like Alexa said, you know, with redirecting. Because in this case, the fox that is offering the meal to the other fox, you know, it will have a heavier meal for themselves. Um there, there is a reason why things are not, I 
accept it at this moment. Maybe we're not hungry. <laughs> you know, maybe we're not in the right place. Maybe we're not in the mood to play it with others. Maybe we're just not on the right place or it's not the right time. And something inside is like, nope, let's, let's put that away. Then we have the two of wands which is a card of making decisions and choosing priorities and the impossibility of knowing if you're making the right decision at the right time, right? Because if I tell you, you want $1 or $10, it's easy. You're going to say $10. Like, that's not a problem. But if I offer you two very valuable things that are of a completely different nature, you know, like this impossible decisions, like, um, I don't know, do you want a million dollars or do you want the health, your health guarantee for the next five years? It's like, uh, eh, which one do I take? You know, you want to take both? Uh, and maybe with the health is not necessarily a, a thinking, right? Most people will choose health. But, you know, two things that have not a very visible value for which you have to decide. And then the clue on deciding is not about value. Is it one $5? Is it one $10? It's like, which one is more convenient on my path? Which one can I make work for me on the long run? Which one I make work for me in the long run and it looks like we are there kind of like on a crossroads like should i take this step or should i wait should i work on other things or should i take a leap forward and sometimes the divine take things away so you don't have to make these decisions even more confusing but what I love the most is the last card that we have, the, the third card, which is the card of the Emperor. By the way, we had this card not too long ago. And the Emperor is all about order. It's like, put your things in order first. You know, like, like fix, fix your color first, you know. Fix yourself first. Before making any decisions, before taking anything more on your plate, before, um, yeah, before leaping into new responsibilities, how are you doing with the responsibilities that you already have? So I was talking to a friend of mine who is also a facilitator, teacher, and priest, um, that sometimes we say things and we don't know where those things come from and then we hear ourselves saying the things and you're like what and i already forgot what i said something about fix fix what you have before you try to go fix something else i don't know i just said it that when i went like this but anyway the emperor is saying you know like let's take care of the things that we have now and fix those and then we start worrying about some other things so by the way i just remember that we said that we were going to use the b tarot so let's pull out that b tarot it's a beautiful deck before you try to get things in order yeah i i don't know we all gonna have to watch the rerun because <laughs> i don't remember what I said, but I said something like what it was, get the things that you have in order before you get new things. I think it was something like that. I don't know. I forgot. And and I put my hand like this because I thought it was a very nice phrase. And then now I forgot what I said. So we all gonna have to go watch and go back and rewatch the the recording. Hi Bashful Biscuits and hi Christine Ashworth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we have the B tarot. 
Japan. If you haven't watched the unboxing that I did, uh, watch it now. Or, I mean, watch it later. It's on my videos. And um, if you're on Facebook, it's going to be on my videos. If you're on YouTube, it's going to be on my videos. If you're on Insta, go look for the past reels. I think it's it should be a reel before this one. Since we're all going to go watch the rerun, because whatever phrase I said, I need to write it down now. Uh, that's the emperor coming through. But anyway, I really like this V tarot. First of all, the the texture is just beautiful. It's really easy to shuffle, and I love that. My hands are a whole lot better, so I don't have that much trouble shuffling, but still... These are so soft and beautiful that it's very nice to shuffle them. Okay, B. Taro, what do you have for us? We have the sun. We have the card of the sun. So what I was telling uh, you guys when I did the unboxing is that I love to use this kind of as oracles. Because he puts the um, he puts the meaning here, kind of like oracles. So we have the upright sun. A new dawn has begun. You guys, a new dawn has begun. A new and splendid light is shining from within you. You are experiencing all good things in business, finances, health, relationships, and connections. Because happiness is often fleeting, it is best seen as platform that catapults you to contentment. Therefore, grab this moment and celebrate the victories and the joys in your life. And this sounds a lot like what you said, Alexa, of redirection, right? I mean, yes, it was hard to read like you were not selected, but I immediately thought like we put it on the Patreon. People need to read it, right? And that gave me immediately like motivation. And y'all that are reading, getting this reading as well. I hope you have the same feeling that, you know, because the reading is for all of us. So something is going on in your life as well, where you're being redirected, redirected to shine. Alexa, Alexa is the Oracle today. Exactly. It will shine brighter elsewhere. So there you go. The card of the sun, a new dawn has begun. And a new and splendid light is shining from within you. You are experiencing all good things in business, finances, health, relationships, and connections. That is true. Because happiness is often fleeting. It is best seen as a platform that catapults you to contentment. Therefore, grab this moment and celebrate the victories and the joys in your life. So... There we have it. Richard says, yep. And Alexa says, I was redirected hard last weekend. I hope it has to do with the new job, but I hope it's good new job. Not challenging new job. But anyway, sometimes the challenge is good. It might be sad, but it's good. Sometimes, I mean, that's, that's, yeah. I know I'm sad and I'm giving myself permission to be sad. And then after that, we'll see. Not job related. Okay, that's good. Um, so speaking of job related, guys, the Tezcali Boca workshop that is going to happen at the end of July. Tickets are going to be on sale tomorrow. So don't walk, run to get your tickets. 
Uh, that is a four-hour workshop on divination. First of all, the magic of Tuscalipoca. Who is Tuscalipoca? Um, then we're going to talk about ancestors. We're going to talk about shadow work. And we're going to talk about divination all together. It's going to be a marathon. It's going to be a four-hour workshop, and it's going to be fantastic. So I really hope that you can join us. It's a four-hour workshop, and regular tickets are going to be 100 but early bird is going to be 75 So get your early bird ticket and come join us for the Tuscalipoca workshop. It's going to be a gem. All right, folks, let's see what is our last oracle for today. Extremes, hot moon, like it's been uh, hot uh, the summer. You didn't tell me how hot it is by you guys. I know Chicago's already 80 something and it's only noon. So it's going to be hot. Extremes, hot moon, extremes, card number 34. Hello, future Juju. And um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow at the um, Mindful Baking Cafe tomorrow, 12 to 5. Mindful Baking Cafe. So, hot moon. Learn how to handle crisis with calm and resilience. Seeking balance is superior to seeking extremes. There are better ways to handle conflict than rage and outrage. There might be someone who seeks to disrupt your business or life in some way. These two shall pass. I handle extremes with grace, yet I seek balance in all things. So the hot moon is our last take for Friday, and it's about extremes. June 14, 2024, extremes. Learn how to handle crisis with calm and resilience. Seeking balance is superior to seeking extremes. There are better ways to handle conflict than rage and outrage. There might be someone who seeks to disrupt your business or life in some way. This too shall pass. And here comes the affirmation. Claim it if you will. I handle extremes with grace, yet I seek balance in all things. So there you have it, folks. Those are the tarot and oracles for the weekend. I hope you join me tomorrow at Mindful Baking Cafe. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have a vanilla latte. I hope you have a vanilla latte as well. And um, for every tarot reading, you get a free cookie or cupcake. Or is it a muffin? No, free cookie and, and or cupcake for every um, reading. Whether you buy the $20 reading or the... $50 reading, it doesn't matter, you get a cookie, and the coffee is just fantastic, needless to say, and um, the Tuscali Boca Workshop tickets will be out for sale tomorrow, and I was laughing, hi sister, shy girl is on the house, uh, I was laughing because tomorrow is the beginning of the Laura Malia, if you're new, if you're new here, I celebrate my birthday a whole month because why wouldn't I? And my birthday is July 2nd, but I begin celebrating on June 15th. And I celebrate from June 15th to July 15th. So the Laura's Nalias begin tomorrow. And tomorrow we put out the tickets for the Tescalipoca workshop. You guys really want to go to this workshop, I promise you. Um, divination, ancestral work, magic, obviously, and the knowledge of the Tezcalipoca. 
It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. All right. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you Monday. And until we meet again, never forget that you are loved. And let's go watch the rerun so I can write the whatever phrase that I said. <coughs> Love y'all. Bye-bye.